profit is not a bad word. Charlie, if a young entrepreneur asked you what you thought the most important advice you could ever give to somebody in business was, what would your answer be? Jeremy, to give one single piece of advice is, is a challenge because as you know very well, and I certainly do, business is so absolutely complicated. Mm -hmm. so, so let me just give one piece of advice probably in about five different ways if I can. Um, first and foremost, as, as anyone who knows me, is an absolute focus on fitness, health, and so on. So let's yeah. accept that, park that, and know that if you're not healthy, you will never be wealthy and happy. So yeah. let's just sit on that. I think, you know, as you start business, to, to find and to work with a mentor would be one of the, one of the key pieces that I would provide to and we say a young person going into business, but let's reframe that. Well, let's not be age specific. To anybody going into business or anybody changing a career or anybody disposing of a business in each and every one of them, to engage with a mentor that you trust and knows you is of paramount importance because they will t strip you down and tell you the truth noting from their perspective which is great because we business people and Jeremy you and I fit into this category we can take a silo and we become very myopic on our perspective and our idea and our approach and our targets so when we go at them we and it's just inherent nature of an entrepreneur to assume they know it all mm. and so you gotta be careful so a mentor will help, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll bring you back in. So let's call that one key piece of advice. But the second piece of advice is to adopt a belief system that a lot of starting entrepreneurs don't do. And let me phrase it this way. Profit is not a bad word. Mm -hmm. So profit is not a dirty word. So many people start business for altruistic reasons, and I pat them on the back for it. That is an absolute great thing to do. And whether you want to go into caring for young children, caring for elderly people, whether you want to provide food in a way that makes it more affordable, all noble, all beautiful. However, if in fact you are an entrepreneur and going into business, yes, do those things, but know that you must make a profit because if you don't make a profit, you will not be able to continue on that beautiful path that you've yeah. chosen. Okay. So, so I sort of, I sort of wrap, wrap that into how important that is, is to know that. Okay. A third thing I could throw, and I could probably throw 33 more. So mm -hmm. you said one, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. uh, is to be a contrarian. And that doesn't mean you become contrary. It means that you look at things from an alternate lens, an alternate perspective. Yeah. You seek that which is not there today, or you seek an approach or a strategy or a delivery mechanism that is not there today, that is a bit better, a bit more efficient, and that you're able to convince other people to take advantage of. And go back in the old days of widgets, if you could make a better widget than the other person, if it can be a little more affordable or a little bit more functional, it has a market presence almost instantly than something that has possibly been around. So, so the thing is, is to, to be a contrarian and don't be afraid of being a contrarian. And in order to be a good contrarian, you have to be capable of talking to your professional advisors Accountants, lawyers, and engineers are my three favorites I pick on. They are all brilliant in their fields, and they will provide you most of the time with the negative side of whatever idea you have. Yeah. They are trained in risk reduction. They are trained 
in more so in risk avoidance. You are an opportunity seeker. The place you come to common ground is in that risk reduction place, not risk avoidance. So as you talk to your accountants, as you talk to your lawyers, as you talk to your engineers, listen, but listen with an open, creative mind so that when your accountant tells you you cannot do something, as my trusty accountant has told me infinite number of times over 25, 30 years, but I take what he says, I mold my original idea a little bit and proceed, in my opinion, more successful because they included some of what he said and not of all he said. So let's leave it at those three um, and knowing that there's, there's, there's a gazillion more that we could throw.